over the last decade there has been an enormous growth in digital businesses one such business is digital advertisements online websites such as the new york times and economic times generate revenue by selling ad spaces over their web pages these ads may be distracting to online users while consuming website content or slow down the page loading speed they may also cause privacy concerns since advertisers may track online users to avoid viewing such ads users install ad blockers on their browsers for example adblock plus as an extension on google chrome these ad blockers block ads on the website and allow only ads that follow a set of rules such as proper placement and the right size so that they don't cause much discomfort to users recently a browser where users don't have to install any extension has become popular this is the brave browser which automatically blocks most of the ads on the website moreover the browser provides options to users to decide the number of ads they want to view in an hour in my thesis i develop game theoretic models to analyze the intensity of ads under these browser settings the results from my study provide insights about the type of ad blocking mechanism that is more beneficial for customers as well as the browser i also analyze whether government bodies should regulate the choice of ad blocking mechanism another digital business that has experienced significant growth in the market is the e-commerce business customers buy everything from basic household utensils to branded electronic items from platforms like amazon flipkart and snapdeal however in a significantly high number of cases customers end up buying a fake version of a product which leaves them unsatisfied because in almost all cases the fake products are inferior in quality compared to their authentic version platforms also face negative consequences such as reputation loss and lawsuits filed against them when counterfeit products are offered on their website in my thesis i study the effort exerted by platforms to detect such counterfeit products i also study the impact of the relative quality of the counterfeit product compared to its authentic version on the platform's effort and its payoff the results of my study provide insights about the level of anti counterfeit effort exerted by platform when the counterfeit product has high or low quality and the impact of the counterfeit product's quality on customer and social welfare thank you